are still on road. Some road users are unhappy that overaged and rickety vehicles are still allowed to use the road despite the extreme risk they expose passengers and other road commuters. The passengers who spoke to join News in random interviews are questioning why state institutions mandated to ensure public safety appear to be reneging their responsibilities. They are therefore calling on mandated authorities to enforce the relevant laws in getting vehicles that are not roadworthy out of the roads. The best thing to be done has to be with us. I mean, let's say you have a car. Per the condition of the car, normally the car shouldn't be on the road. But at the end of the day, man has to eat. So I'm always that, you know, in as much as we are all trying to avoid these things, that is someone else's ends meet. So you can't just say we should avoid them. Normally, my take has to be if the car gets to a certain stage, I mean, it shouldn't be used for long journeys and all that. For instance, if a car is supposed to go to Takwa and then the condition has deteriorated a bit, you can change the route, maybe a car to win it, but I mean, it's manageable. For I think that those who grant them permission must be questioned because knowing very well that the car is no good for the road, it can cause accident, it can destroy lives. Why do you have to give them permission in the first place? So I don't blame the drivers. I blame those who give them permission, the roadworthy and the insurance companies because they'll bring the car. You see it. You, you see that sometimes you even have to open the bonnet, you know. So knowing very well that the car is no good for the road, you don't permit them to use it in the first place. So what, what can we do? Aside that, aside that, what can authorities do to get these buses off the road? No, you know, no, the authority must do what is right for the sake of lives to avoid all those cars. Yes, because without them, other ones are there who can do the same work. So if they are not on the road, you will firstly join the right car. Okay, honestly, it's really sad seeing such vehicles on the road because it poses a risk to even somebody who isn't like. Um, who is actually good on the road because, you know, sometimes you can be on the road and just somebody's fault can cause lives and all that. So I think, honestly, for me, before I even sat in this car, I had to look at the car to see if it was good before sitting in the car. So, of course, all these things should be considered, especially when giving the road where these tickets and all that, because, honestly, most of these accidents are not caused by just overspeeding and all that, all these imbalances in the cars and how good the car is and the faults, check, all these things should be checked, that, that's it. With the accident, sometimes it's, it's some of the drivers, they, they are, sometimes, some of them, they rush.